Uh, our first speaker of the night is Kimberly Nelson. Kimberly Nelson is the past president and current vice president of Bike Calgary and the co-chair of Canada Bikes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start this night off. Kimberly Nelson. what we're currently experiencing today in Calgary. Or alternately, a beginner's guide on how to participate in a citywide bicycle boom. Bicycle advocates of old will tell you that creating the correct environment for bikes in Calgary is like biking up a very steep hill on a heavy, single speed cruiser <laughs> laden with heavy panniers. It's strenuous, exhausting, and not a pleasurable experience with opposition pulling against you like gravity trying to slow you down or make you quit. As with anything hard, you need to appeal to a broad audience in a variety of ways. <laughs> Always remaining positive while encouraging people of all types to just get out there and ride once. To fall in love with the experience and fun of riding on two wheels. You'll find yourself hosting or attending crazy events just to see what sticks. Uh, Cycle Palooza is coming up. Convincing people to ride bikes to school, to work, for groceries, to parties, to music festivals, and even to weddings. Work centers within Calgary are finally understanding that bikes are to be considered a full-time commuting vehicle. And with year-round riders, they have had to become pretty creative with their signage. I myself have never showered with my bike, but with winter riding, I know why they did it. Advocates are unable to hide in the shadows as they are constantly needing to push against boundaries. Breaking the glass ceilings is what we do almost daily. Uh, David Swan had boycotted the Calgary Stampede Parade because they wouldn't let him bike. We did it. While well, most of us know that for a comfortable riding experience on roads with cars, the best rule of thumb is safety in numbers. That's a terrible slogan, especially when you're selling fun. So inventive, fun rides get people out to experience something new. We go for rides for ice cream, two-wheel costume parties like the Tweed Ride, uh, and even some seasonal rides just uh, for the fun of it, usually with a fundraising base behind it. Many detractors will try to use the fact that Calgary is a uh, winter weather city, and they'll use it against us. As advocates, we respond to it by celebrating winter biking and making it fun. Competing worldwide for Winter Bike to Work Day, by the way, we were number five in the world this year, yeah. Offering breakfast and other events means that we saw people lining up in the snow to celebrate their ride and get their picture taken with their bike in the snow. We also uh, embraced our fabulous Chinook climate to highlight that it's really not that cold in Calgary in February. Calgary hosts its own winter bike uh, make your own festival that's part of Cycle Palooza. It's called Winter Palooza. Uh, it's a ride your own, uh, make your own ride festival where passionate advocates make their mark. So recently, bike advocates in Calgary have had reason to believe that we're nearing the end of the climb. With the introduction of the downtown cycle tracks, bike lanes or bikeways project being introduced in every quadrant of the city, the apex is in sight. But as anyone who rides a bike knows, there's still work to be done. Just one single piece of missing infrastructure can derail the beginner completely and completely frustrate even the most seasoned rider. The battle is never ending. The coverage has been overwhelming. Bikes have been in the news every week. 
I've lost track. It used to be uh, 57 weeks straight. I think we surpassed that. Uh, it's a little overwhelming. Both sides of the stories have been written about ad nauseum. Uh, each side of the story making their own pitch either for or against the cycle tracks, or simply watching the story unfold without passing by us. Calgary Cycle Track Network downtown is being watched closely, both here and around the world, and even being copied in other cities. The media is highly engaged. As there are advocates for cycling infrastructure, there are also those that are opposed. <laughs> <laughs> and are mounting as passionate an argument as possible. <laughs> I hope he's not here. <laughs> Winning the battles for the crowd, not often associated with like or sports, is key. Endorsements from businesses, politicians, health groups, economic leaders, and others helped us move the needle enough to allow a pilot of a full network to launch last year. Uh, advocates, community leaders, full neighborhoods, I actually see many, many people that joined us for our cycle track launch party last year, uh, came out. We cut the ribbon and everybody went on a neighborhood ride as a community. It was amazing. And it only gets better from there. As I said, the whole world is kind of watching our progress closely. So we're happy to be able to report such high numbers in all seasons. Although he doesn't look very happy about it. <laughs> Cycling is a fun, efficient, exciting way to find out about your city. Every time someone new picks up their bicycle and goes for a ride, a new experience is unveiled. You learn about your location uh, that you never saw from the window of your car or bus. You discover that every commute can be an adventure. how that was much longer in my head. <laughs> and that, my friends, is when the boom happens. When you are able to fly free of worry, free of concern, and just fly unencumbered and free down the hill to enjoy the ride. Thank you.